the next uh, next set of questions come from Game Boy GU82. Thank you for the questions. And um, the first one is, what do you think the worst movie based off a game is, and why? I thought a lot about this one, and I, I think it's it's more clear to me than ever. Uh, the Super Mario Brothers game or movie was horrible. I mean. As I liked it as a kid, but as I got older, I critiqued it more, and it was really sad to me that they took such a franchise, such a power player in the Nintendo industry, and they just they just took a dump all over its face. I mean, the, they did. I mean, they didn't get anything right in the movie. Well, actually, I'll get back to it, but they did get one thing right. But it's really sad what they did get right. But uh, they didn't get their costume. Their uh, like their colored costumes until closer to the end. Goombas didn't look like Goombas. Um, Yoshi wasn't green. Nobody ate any mushrooms and grew really big. Um, there's no Koopa Troopers that i seen. I, I don't think that King Koopa was King Koopa really ever. It just Nothing just looked or felt like the Super Mario Brothers. I, I mean, as a kid I liked it, but the more I think about it now, it's just Maybe it's just a dumb little kid who didn't really know what a good movie was off a video game. And the few things they did get right was uh, the ba -bomb. I think it was partially right. It was a little small, but at least they got, you know, the face on it right. And uh, the one thing they did get right that depressed me the most is the actor who played Luigi. I think that that is the only thing they got right was a, a lengthy, tall John Leguizamo to play Luigi, and that is... Any time in a Mario game, movie, anything franchise, when you get Luigi right and not anything else, it's it's a sad day in, in the world. Uh, second question is, what got you started on YouTube? I actually been watching YouTube videos for uh, probably the last two years, and I never really thought about doing any videos because I didn't think I I could talk about anything or know about just a little bit about something. And um, out of the blue, one day I just I was just like, a, hmm, I'm, I'll uh, YouTube uh, video game collections, and then that's that's when the floodgates opened, and I was watching everybody's collections. I think the very first uh, collection stuff I seen was Luke Morris one, and then I uh, from there just started clicking on stuff, and, and I believe um, Quick Sci-Fi was another one very early one that I seen and from there I just kind of evolved from that it's like I don't really have a collection but I know a little bit about video games and I'd like to do some reviews and it just kind of evolved from there and uh, the last question is uh, what is your biggest video game ending letdown um, well besides the Nintendo ones like I said a while ago um, the first time I beat Super Street Fighter any of the, that's the first Street Fighter game I played, and, and the endings were so short, it just didn't seem, it was a really good game, and then you got to the ending, and it, it didn't seem like it did it justice. And to me, that was sad. They, I think they could have extended the ending out maybe 10, 15 more seconds, and I would have been happy. Unfortunately, I didn't learn my lesson from the first time I beat it. I you know, went back through the game with a different character, and then I found out that... It was pretty much the same. You got about five seconds, and then the credits rolled. Maybe ten if you were lucky, but you know, around a 20, 25 second after putting putting in all the time and playing a Street Fighter game would have been worth it to me. All right. Um, the next question comes from the Super Diego. Thank you very much for the question. What is your favorite game saga? Um, even though I haven't played them all, and I've been wanting to start up and 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 play them all I just haven't I I do have them all on the Wii Virtual Console and I used to have one until I accidentally broke it but uh, the Breath of Fire series I thought there was really really solid characters in that game with good, good storylines throughout and uh, I almost beat Breath of Fire 3 I got really far into it and it was an amazing game that wanted me to play the ones I just never got around to it. So that that would probably be my favorite game saga. Just, I mean, based off of that one game, Breath of Fire 3, I'm sure the first two are pretty good, but I just haven't got around to them, like I said. All right. 
Ties one. Thank you very much for your questions. You, sir, are next. And uh, you, your first question will be, uh, ooh, that's interesting. What's your top two video game music or score? Could be any song from Apic to full orchestra. <sighs> top two. Um, okay, um, Top two, I'd say anything from the Mega Man series is really awesome. So, I'd, uh, well, top two, I'd say it's a tie in the Mega Man series between, uh, it's a big debate, Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3 boss fight musics. So those are, uh, that was probably my favorite music throughout the whole series of games was the boss fight musics, but, uh, Mega Man 2 and 3, it's a tie for, uh, for that particular series, um. Another one I can think of is, again, uh, Final Fantasy III, right before the uh, the Ruined World, where you fight a uh, Atma weapon. I think that is, that's I think that's I think that is orchestrated, and it is an amazing song. It's it's by far my favorite song in any video game I've ever played. If uh, you got time, maybe get on a, uh, well, get on YouTube and uh, Google the Atma weapon fight from Final Fantasy III on Super Nintendo. I think that music is just amazing. It's just hardcore. And the second question is, what is your what is your greatest gaming moment? Oh, greatest gaming moment. Oh, <laughs> okay. um, again, it's from the Final Fantasy franchise, but a different one. Final Fantasy VII. Uh, there is a. I have kind of like an extra boss called the, uh, I believe, Atma Weapon, the underwater one. Yeah, the, the Atma Weapon, it was a big hardcore boss, I remember. So many nights trying to put it away, and one night I was just very tired, very sleepy. I was like, you know what, I'm just, I'm going to play for like 10 minutes, and if I can't kill it, then then I'm just going to turn it off and go to sleep. Well, um, I think it's Cat Scythe, or Cat Smythe. I just got a limit break with that character, and uh, it was the slots, and I hit it, and I just, I was like, whatever, I just tap, 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 tap buttons, and uh, it was the instant death, and I was like, there's no way that's going to work on this boss, and sure enough, it said instant victory, or instant win, whatever it said, and he went down, it's one of the hardest bosses I've fought in a video game in a long time, and I, I was just, just amazed that, I was like, holy crap, that just worked. And no what I don't think I tell all my friends, I don't think to this day they believe me because they didn't witness it. They they had the proof that he was dead, but unfortunately I didn't get the uh any footage back in the day from that. But that was probably my bit my uh, greatest gaming moment. Pretty cool.